Hi, how are you? Matt Watson here from CarWow. With many new cars, the list price is just the starting price. The amount you'll actually pay for a car can soon escalate when you start adding some options. Take the new Mercedes Maybach GLS, for example. It starts from £158,000, but if you add all the official options that are available for it, the price will come to £217,000. That means you have increased the price by 38% over the starting list price. Of course, with a brand like Maybach, you can give them a blank check and they'll fit all sorts of bespoke items that aren't on the official options list to your car. And the price can go way, way higher still, but I'm not interested in that, okay? The thing that I'm interested in is finding out how much you can increase a car's price by by ticking all the official listed options. So what I've done is come up with a list of cars where you can increase their price by a percentage of greater than 38%. So more than you can increase the price of the Maybach GLS by by ticking the official options, all of them. Now the cars on this list actually range from normal family cars to supercars, and I've ranked them based on the percentage increase in their price that you can get by ticking all the options. Now, I've ignored some brands such as Rolls-Royce, Bentley and Aston Martin because they don't actually list the price of their options. You know, if you have to ask, you obviously can't afford them, right? Now, before we get into this video, please make sure you subscribe to this channel and hit the bell icon to turn your notifications on. That way, you won't miss a single upload. Also, if you're thinking about buying a new car and want to tick some options, you want to make sure you get in the car for a fair price. And if you click on the pop-out banner up there in the top right-hand corner of the screen, you can go to CarWire where you can save an average of around £3,000 on a new car. Now, if you want to just do that later on, just Google Help Me CarWire. And my team and I will help you choose the right car for you and get it for a fair price from one of our trusted CarWow dealers. Buying a new car? Then head to CarWow, and my team will help you find your next car at a fair price. CarWow, your one-stop car buying comparison site. First up on my list of increasing the car's price by adding all the options is the Jeep Renegade. If you start with an entry-level two-wheel drive longitude model with a 120 horsepower petrol engine, it'll cost a little over 23,000 pounds. But then if you tick every single box you can on the options list, it will add almost £9,000 to the price of the car. That means this stinky Jeep ends up costing more than £32,000, which is a 39% increase over the original list price. So that's 1% more of an increase in the price over that than with the Maybach. Actually, one of the most expensive options on the Jeep is the £1,200 panoramic glass roof. But what also puts up the price are all the vinyl decals and bumper trims you can get for it. Good thing you can actually save around £1,400 on average if you buy a Jeep Renegade through CarWow, just saying. Lotus makes lightweight, stripped out sports cars, so if you want any extra equipment at all, it's gonna cost you extra. But you'll be surprised how much a few extra options will actually set you back. Well, if you add all the options available on an Elite Sport 220, it will turn a 42,000 pound sports car into a 63,000 pounds one. That's an increase in its price by 50%. Some of the options are fairly reasonable, like the floor mats, they only cost £100. However, if you want the pearl effect paint, you're talking £3,200. A carbon fibre hardtop costs another three grand, while a titanium exhaust will set you back £4,000. And who's going to pay £1,200 for a lightweight battery? That's Ridiculous. Maserati is trying its best to be like an Italian version of Audi, Mercedes or BMW. So I guess you can't blame it for jacking at the price of its optional extras just to be like the Germans. Take the Ghibli Hybrid for example. It starts from just over £58,000. So it's the cheapest new Maserati you can buy. But you can add so many options to this car that it could end up costing you 60% more than this original starting price. This hybrid saloon can set you back more than £93,000 if you tick everything on the options list. Now, a big chunk of that figure comes from stuff like the £2,640 Noble Blue Paint and the optional 21-inch alloy wheels. They cost more than £4,400 and you'll need £5,125 if you want softer leather on your seats. Where are they getting these cows from? Next up is the McLaren 720S. Okay, so you knew there was going to be a supercar on my list at some point and here's one already. Now, everything on these cars always cost a fortune. I mean, you'll need more than £208,000 just to get a basic 720S, but that's just the beginning of the story. Now, of course, you can pay McLaren a whole ton of money 
for a bunch of bespoke options just for you. But that's not what we're talking about in this video. It's all about the official options. And even if you limit yourself to the ones on the standard option list and you tick them all, you'll end up paying more than £360,000 for the car. That's a 73% increase on top of the original list price. But it's still less than half what a McLaren Senna costs. So I guess it's still a bit of a bargain. Now the most expensive official option you can fit on that car is the paint. McLaren already has a load of colours to choose from, but if you want your car in a special unique shade, it'll cost you £7,750. The carbon fibre racing seats, they're not much cheaper either. They'll set you back £5,120. Thankfully, that's for a pair, not just for one of them. And at least McLaren is looking out for its American buyers, because you can get extra wide bucket seats for the same price. OK, let's bring things back down to earth after the McLaren. This is a mini three-door hatchback. It's nothing particularly special, and you can pick up a Cooper Classic model for less than £18,000. Not a classic Mini Cooper. A Cooper Classic is just the name of a trim. Anyhow, if you load this car up with every single optional extra you can get for it, you'll end up paying almost £31,000 for the car. That's 73% more than the standard car costs. Actually, when you move the decimal point, it's 0.1% more than the increase that you can have in that McLaren 720S, which is why the Mini goes ahead on this list. Now, one of the priciest options on the Mini is the leather interior. Well, actually, it's not even real leather. It's carbon black leatherette, which sounds pretty tacky, to be honest, but it still costs £1,300. Thankfully, though, you can actually save around £2,000 on average if you buy a Mini through CarWow. So that's enough to pay for a few fancy upgrades, isn't it? In fact, if you click on the pop-out banner up there, you can see the offers available on the Mini right now. Go check it out. We're coming back to supercars for the next car on this list, and it's the Ferrari F8 Tributo, and it comes with some of the most insanely expensive official options ever. The standard car will set you back more than £203,000, but Ferrari is all too happy to sell you £185,000 worth of optional extras. And these are just the normal upgrades. I haven't included any of the fancy one-off paint jobs or exclusive carbon bits. And even without those, the final car, fully loaded with all the official options, costs almost £390,000, which is 91% more than its original price. In fact, you could almost buy two of the actual basic car for that price. The most insane upgrade is the optional carbon fibre wheels. They cost £4,800. That's not for the four of them, that's £4,800 each. So that's almost 20 grand for a set of wheels, which is bonkers. What's even worse though, is that Apple CarPlay isn't standard, which it is on most cars. If you're in this Ferrari, for some reason it's £2,400. You can get yourself two brand new top spec iPhones for that. It's nuts. Now, if you want to see me race a Ferrari against some other cars in a drag race, click on the pop-out banner up there to go check it out. It's one of my favorite races actually. It's really good. Now you wouldn't think that you could increase the price of a normal family hatchback by a greater percentage than you could a Ferrari, would you? Well you can if you go for a BMW 1 Series. An entry level 118i SE costs around £22,000. Pretty reasonable. But you can add almost £19,000 worth of options to that. Now this jacks up the price to more than £39,000 for a slow 1 Series. That's a 94% increase over the original price. It's crazy. Now the thing with the BMW is that it's quite sparse, so you start ticking things that you really think you want. You know, stuff like leather seats, a panoramic glass roof, and some upgraded safety kit. Now each of those costs a grand each, and slowly but surely the price just starts climbing and climbing. Next thing you know, 39 grand madness. Now if you're looking for a one series, Click on the pop-out banner up there to go watch my in-depth video review of that car. The next car on my list is the Jaguar XF, and we're getting into some properly crazy option prices now because it's actually possible to double the XF starting price with just some optional extras. If you pick a D200 diesel model in S trim, it starts at less than £33,000. Fairly reasonable, that. But you can just keep on piling on the options and accessories until you've spent more than £65,000 on the car. That's an increase of 101% on 
the original price. Some of the most expensive options are the fancy 20 inch alloy wheels, which cost £2,400. And there's some seriously posh leather trim you can get for £2,050. And you'll need an extra £2,600 if you want ventilated massage seats, which of course you do. Good thing you can save an average of £700 on a new Jaguar XF if you buy through Carway. Just saying. The second place on my list goes to Range Rover. But it's not some fully kitted out long wheelbase Range Rover. Oh no, it's actually an Evoque and not even a top spec car. It's the D165 front wheel drive version with a manual gearbox, so as basic as an Evoque comes. This car starts out pretty cheap. You can buy one for around £33,000. It's all right, but there's also so many options and accessories available, it will blow your mind. If you tick all the boxes, literally every single one, you'll end up spending more than £36,000 just on options. It's a bit like the Jaguar XF actually, because it's the nice alloys and the fanciest seats that jack up the price. If you want some 20 inch wheels for an Evoque, that'll be £2,300. And the 14 way adjustable front seats cost almost £2,600. All this means that you could end up paying nearly £70,000 for an Evoque. That's 110% on top at the starting price. You could actually buy a big full-size Range Rover for that. It's nuts. So it's pretty handy that you can save an average of £2,500 on average if you buy a Range Rover Evoque through Carlisle. Can you guess which brand takes the number one spot on this list? Any ideas? Well, it's Porsche. Had to be, didn't it? You see, Porsche is the king of expensive optional extras, but it's not a 911 or a Panamera or a Taycan that I'm talking about. When you work it out as a percentage, it's actually the Macan which has the greatest price increase if you add all the available options. You see, you can actually get an entry level Macan for around £47,000, but that price starts to rocket as soon as you add any of Porsche's expensive options. If you decide you want everything, like literally everything, on the options list, it'll end up costing you a further £56,000 on top of the price of the car. You can understand some of the prices, like the £4,000 custom-made luggage. I get that. But a tiny bit of leather trim on the air vents costs more than £1,000. Who's going to pay for that? But leather trim? On the air vents. All this means though, that you could end up forking out more than £103,000 for a Macan. It's insane. It's an increase of 120% over the original starting price. In fact, if you go crazy on the options list for a Macan, you'll end up paying more for it than you would for a 911 Carrera 4 S. Though no, that's obviously without any options. Start an option store on them, and then the price of that will rise as well. Now, what did you think of the cars on this list? Maybe we miss some. Maybe there's some others where you can increase the price by more than that MyBax increase of 38%. To find out though, if you click on the pop out banner there, you can go to the car wow configurator and you can try building lots of different cars and adding all their options and seeing if you can find some cars which should have been on this list. If you can find some that you can increase their price by more than 38% by ticking all the options, then note them down in the comments box below with the price, okay? We'll be checking them out down there. See if you can do even better than that Porsche Macan. I hope you all enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a like. If you click on that box there, you can watch me race a Lamborghini Aventador against a McLaren 720S. And down there for my walk around video of the new Mercedes Maybach GLS. If you click on that box there, you can go to Carway to sign up for our weekly newsletter where we'll keep you up to date on all the latest car news and reviews in between these video uploads. You may as well sign up to it. It's completely free and you can unsubscribe at any time. Thanks for watching.